pleasant day to everyone and welcome again to the Muppet Lands of Sir Jeff Castillo. Before we start our lesson, let us have a moment of silence. Good day again to everyone. Today, we are going to discuss another artwork during the 20th century. I want you to look closely and observe the two images. What can you say about the images? Is it moving? Are you sure? The images shown are example of op art or short for optical art. Optical art is a style of visual art that uses optical illusions. Op art works are also abstract, but with many better of pieces are painted in black and white. Typically, this type of art gives the viewer the impressions of open, given images, flashing, and the painting factors, or of well or warping, but in reality, it is not. Next characteristic is what we call the pattern. The pattern is loosely based on the geometric shape that you want to use for your artwork. This pattern will be done by the repetitive use of the geometric shape that you chose. And we should always bear in mind that this pattern should be made in an organized manner. Last, the better list is the visual effect. This visual effect is already the result of your pattern. Now, always bear in mind that this visual effect should be appealing to the audience to make and leave an impression of making them busy or your artwork is moving. So now we already understand the concept and the characteristics of optical art. It is now your turn to make your own optical art. So kindly base your optical art on the worksheet that is provided to you. God bless and be safe.